Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the more troublesome kingdoms in Super Mario Odyssey and seeing how they look and what the performance in said kingdoms is like. So as you can see, we are currently in Sand Kingdom and our performance is varying anywhere between around 28 to around 45 frames per second if we look here and 50 if we look over here. Now, throughout this video, you are also going to notice that there is going to be a fair amount of pop-in as we move around the different worlds. When we swap between screenshot mode and back into gameplay, you can notice all of these different items as they are actually correctly rendered in screenshot mode, but not in live gameplay. So, as you can see, the pyramid is popping in and out due to the fact that it is outside of the current render distance. Hopefully, this will be able to be fixed in future versions of Yuzu Emulator. So, while the game world does look a lot better than it previously did, and performance is much better than we have ever seen before, there are still a lot of render issues. For example, these pillars here, these are supposed to be made of transparent ice, but as you can see, both of these are just rendered grey, and sometimes they're rendered black. I'm not sure why it changes, but hopefully this is another issue that can be fixed in future iterations of Yuzu itself. So let's now quickly move on to our next testing area, Seaside Kingdom. So this kingdom is probably one of the most problematic areas, mostly due to the fact that when you look out to the actual seaside, and there is quite a lot of it, you get this weird yellow tint which you pretty much can't fix at this point in time. The only way to not get it is to basically not look at it and look away. So performance wise, in this area we are varying anywhere between 24 to around a maximum of I have seen 45 frames per second and it is probably one of the worst performing areas in Super Mario Odyssey on Yuzu Emulator at this point in time. Hopefully in the coming days and weeks they will be able to fix some of these bugs and render issues and this kingdom will become much much more playable. Let's now move quickly along to our next testing area, Snow Kingdom. So this kingdom is another area that saw a fairly drastic visual improvement in the last few canary builds of Yuzu Emulator itself. You can also see that while render quality isn't perfect and is nowhere near perfect, performance is also quite good in this area ranging anywhere between around 37 to 40 frames per second at any given time. Please do remember however that I am using an 8700K CPU and even though Yuzu at this point in time is only using one core of this 6 core 12 thread CPU, it is still not going to be typical performance and please be aware that if you are using a lower tiered CPU you can expect lower frames per second than you are currently seeing me getting right now. In a very similar situation to what we were seeing in Sand Kingdom, we are also having some transparency issues with some of the textures in this area. You can see that these small little destructible pillars and also these giant pillars in this main hub area are meant to be transparent and while you can see some effects through them like this wind effect in the background, they are currently not rendered correctly at all. Let's now move on to our next testing area and yet another very problematic one, Wooded Kingdom. So here we are in Wooded Kingdom and as you can see, performance is not terrible by any means. Our frame rate generally stays at somewhere between around 25 to 45 frames per second. However, there are some fairly significant render issues in this area. As you can see, we are also suffering with this extensive pop-in which was shown off in Sand Kingdom. However, the render issues become very, very apparent when we enter any of the enclosed areas in this game. For example, when I enter this cave, even though it's rendered correctly from the outside, as soon as we transition into where it is dark, you are losing basically all of the light source rendering in this area. Now, once we transition through this area and actually come out the other side of this cave, you're going to see that render quality is once again going to slightly improve, and even though it's not perfect, it is still a damn sight better than anything we were previously seeing in older canary versions of Yuzu Emulator itself. Performance wise, this area we are in right now is probably one of the worst performance areas at least in Wooded Kingdom. Apart from the small stuttery drops down to 0 frames per second, the lowest performance level I saw in this area was around 18 
or 20 frames per second, but I would have to say that this area itself is kind of an outlier in this kingdom, and mostly this is due to the fact that there are so many objects, moving parts, and AI in this actual area itself. You can also see that we also get this weird issue where when we use screenshot mode everything just appears, but as I said, hopefully that is going to be fixed in future versions of Yuzu. Both myself and several other members of the Yuzu testing community have made its developers aware of this issue, and hopefully this in itself will expedite the fixing of the problem. So let's move on to our next area once again, this time we're going to be taking a look at Ruined Kingdom. So even though Ruined Kingdom was kind of the focal point of my video yesterday where I showed off some lighting and render improvements in this game, I thought that it is still fairly important to include it in this video, mostly because while yes it has seen a render improvement, it is still by no means perfect and still has tons of rendering issues. As I showed off in my video yesterday, these flame effects are now being correctly rendered and when we come up to this top area where previously it was a dark and blacked out mess where you couldn't see anything that was being rendered, it is now a much better situation and we can actually see what we're doing for once. So while yes, it's not rendered perfect, it is still nice to see that the lighting and textures are being improved in all of these different areas. Let's move swiftly along to our next testing area, Metro Kingdom. So while Metro Kingdom has seen a significant performance and graphical uplift, especially so in the last few Canary builds, there are still some fairly wild issues, graphically at least, in this area. As you can see, in a similar case to many of the kingdoms we have already looked at, Metro Kingdom also suffers with this weird instanced rendering bug. As you can see, when we switch between screenshot mode and gameplay, there is a difference in render quality. There is also an issue with capturing any items in this kingdom. For some reason, when you capture anything, as you can see I am capturing this power conduit, and the screen just flashes blue. Now you can fix this by playing the game in docked mode and while yes in docked mode the game does look better due to rendering the game at a higher resolution, this higher resolution and better graphical output also has a fairly significant cost to performance. As you can see we are running anywhere between about 15 to 20 frames per second lower. Regardless of any of these issues, Metro Kingdom is now performing and rendering its graphics in a much better fashion than we have ever seen before on Yuzu Emulator, and hopefully in the coming weeks they will be able to significantly improve it even more. Moving along once again, let's take a look at our next area, Luncheon Kingdom. So, due to this kingdom's fairly funky art style, it was kind of always going to have a very weird graphical output, especially at this very early stage of development for Yuzu. Performance wise, it is fairly good. It generally stays well above 30 frames per second at all times once everything stabilizes once you load in for the first time. And despite the fact that it does have a very distracting graphics as of this point in time, it is still quite playable. Now, this area actually suffers probably the worst from what I have been calling so far instanced rendering. As you can see, there are many, many things missing from the background and when we turn on screenshot mode you can see them instantly render in. Now, even though we are very, very close to all of these things, they are not being rendered in and as I've said previously, it is a bug and hopefully will be fixed very, very soon. Now, in this area where there are a lot of NPCs and AI interactions happening, we probably get some of the lowest frame rates that you are going to see in Super Mario Odyssey on Yuzu Emulator at this point in time. You can see that we are dropping down, I think we dropped down to about 16 or 17 frames per second in this area. With Luncheon Kingdom being one of the more outlandish, you could say, and kind of one of the more stylistic art styles, I am quite excited to see just how quickly the Yuzu development team can get its graphical render output fixed. Okay, so let's move on to our second to last testing area, Lost Kingdom. 
So once loaded into Lost Kingdom, you can see that in a fairly similar circumstance to Wooded Kingdom, there is a fairly similar color scheme happening and fairly similar performance and render output. You can see that in the majority of this gameplay, we are going to be mostly above 30 FPS with frame rate maximums of around 50 to 52 frames per second in my testing. In the past 6 to 7 days, this area has basically gone from a completely blacked out area with practically no graphical output to the graphical output and render quality that you are currently seeing in live gameplay. Hopefully, once again in the next 6 to 7 days, we will see even further graphical improvements. So let's now move along to our final testing area, Moon Kingdom. So once loaded into Moon Kingdom, you can see that we have received a much, much better graphical output. Moon Kingdom actually shares its art style with several other kingdoms. For example, Dark Side and Darker Side both share in practically identical art styles and performance in those areas is also very similar to the performance levels you are seeing in this one. Apart from the fairly obvious graphical errors which you can currently see in gameplay, Moon Kingdom also has this very strange vertex strobing issue which seems to share its colour scheme with the actual balloon on the Odyssey ship itself. Hopefully all of these strange graphical output issues like the strobing, the weird offset shadows in the majority of the worlds, the vertex explosions and all of the weird flickering you can see on the ground textures in all of the kingdoms we have visited can be fixed in the coming weeks and months in Yuzu Emulator. If any of you guys want to help with the development of this emulator, you can do so by simply heading on over to the Patreon link for Yuzu itself and pledging to support them. I will have a link for that down in the description of this video. If you want to help to support BSOD Gaming, you can also find a link to my own Patreon down in the description of this video. So if there are any games that you would like to see tested on this Nintendo Switch emulator, leave a comment down below and if I can get access to that game, I will test it for you absolutely no problem. Once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.